Right, I am back. Sorry about that, guys. I didn't want that interrupting because, well, you wouldn't really be able to hear me if there's sound of hoovering going on. So there's a ladder going up that way, but there's also... There's another gate here. Can I go under that, maybe? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. I believe... Yeah, that's where I came. Okay. So, I guess this way. Huh, okay. It's a massive hole in the middle, not exactly optimal. Now I'm stuck. Come on. Thank you. This is the rope that came down, right? Hmm. Oh, it was the, 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 the thing coming down. Okay, I need to just be careful then. Should be able to... Just slowly edge my way up, I guess. Is that, why I, is that even what I'm supposed to do? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Hello? Okay, I can't. Hmm, okay. This way, maybe? Can I push these, maybe? Oh no, there's another... There's another machine there, okay. I'm guessing that opened that gate over there. Do not like that ticking sound. Ooh! That did not sound good. Not sound good at all. Okay, another gate. Okay. There's so many gates in this place. It's weird. Oh, this isn't going to be a chase sequence or anything. Ooh. Ugh. Another confounded fuse box. This fellow is thorough in his sabotage, if somewhat repetitive. The stench from these barrels is quite discomforting. I certainly hope that whatever chemistry this room is designed to store is not a defining feature of the flood that threatens my children. Okay, so something crashed down there, but mm, I guess this way. I'm guessing it's going to make me work a little harder this time for the uh, for the damn fuse. Yeah. Oh great, a barrier door, just what I want to mess with, right? Not. Okay, I might want to... Just... Move that out of the way, where it's not going to... Get in my way if I'm being chased. There was a note here I missed. Okay, Von Reichenbach writes of the Odic Force, whilst the ignorant charlatan Blavatsky pontificated upon the soul. They are both cretins. I think one could strive for such great heights without wading first through puke and innard without standing upon an architecture of bones. Montezuma was the wiser, but here, in our temples of steel, I have witnessed the severed head of a man, recently trampled to death by a runaway carriage, immersed in the solution of the Brennenberg compound upon him, open his eyes, and cry, Oh, where are my legs, sir? Where is my body? We are breaking through the barriers of death itself. Oh, my da dead darling Lily, is it too late for you? It is too late for you, sorry, but I promise you this. I'll save our children from death and it be, or wrench them back from the blackness with this wonderful concoction. Interesting. A bit of a link to the first game there, with the name Brennenberg. Is this the... Hello? That door is open, I don't like that. I definitely closed that. 
Let's remedy that, shall we? There was another fuse here, I'm almost positive. Oh, it's there. Run, 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 run. Okay, I got it. Still, I thought I dropped it then, but new, I'm all good. Hello? Why is my. Okay, let's head on out, I guess, and uh, hope for the best. Creepy children. Hello? Hello? Hold still, for God's sake, hold still, child. Don't let it get into your eyes. I'm going to rinse it out now. There. It will be fine. You just need to lie down. Enoch, look to your brother. How many times have I told you not to play in the cellar? The See if I can make this. Mm, probably. Let's, let's try that again. No. Okay. Um. Must be something I. Ah. Okay. I need to go this way. Hello. Of course, naturally, children. Extraordinary, quite extraordinary. And you built it all. Good God, man, you have been busy. It is wonderful how tragedy focuses the mind. What else was I to do? Fall into grief, pine and fade in my hopelessness? Why not then simply die in that jungle amongst those dead temples? I guess, you know, what a maybe thought you put your energy in something a bit more healthy, but you know, I'm, I'm not going to judge, no judgement. Hello? This is perfectly normal, perfectly normal. Is, it, is that good? Is that good? has been very, very busy being a very sick individual. Oh. 
Uh, nothing. Let's check this one. Uh, nothing. Okay. No, nothing. Okay, cool. Anything on this side? No. Fair enough. So, oh, not the button I meant to press. Okay, so there's a door there, and there's a door there. Um, I guess this way? No. Hello? I don't love the music stop just then. That, that, that's not good, guys. From the window, he could see almost to the docks where they were still pulling out hair out of the gratings. God knows what it says about the paper boy. The talk is of murder. Hello? Oh, this area isn't scary at all. Nope. don't think so. What I will do though is turn on all the lights because that's how I roll. <laughs> Darkness is for pussies. <laughs> Hello? Then, what if they could stand upright and walk as men? What if the brutes were harnessed thus? Would they sing? Would they find their own god? I have seen these things and I'll tell you now. No. No, they will not. But they will happily accept fealty to a god thrust upon them, and worship it thus given. In this, I realised, they are no different to the masses. They are much the same as us. Once this irrevocable threshold is passed, I understand that we are too shackled and must be set free. To free the man, we cut the man. In order to cross that great evolutionary line, it must first be painted upon the ground. If you say so, bro. If you say so. Okay, nothing in there. Cool. Hello? Mm. Yeah, I came that way, didn't I? That music isn't creepy at all. Nope. Oh, that was a bit weird. Ah. In America, they talk of building their city to the skies. To me, this seems folly, but ha perhaps it's a case of a nation founded without a history of its own. We walk upon our histories, they are compacted into the very loam beneath our feet. The en engineers we employed talked of this. They talked of how, when building the underground trains, they would often come across older tunnels crisscrossing the capital. What palaces lie buried beneath us? We are digging, digging, excavating and reappropriating what we find. At the centre of the planet, my architect tells me, there is a great iron ball. It is the egg of the world. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> Hello? Oh yay, bathroom, woo! Actually, bathrooms in this game don't actually seem to be able to kill you, which is always good. Hello? We integrate the very latest knowledge of chemistry using low, low, low levels of a laudanum derivative in feed to subdue the product even before the initia initiation of the process. This means that when we drag them from holding pens onto the line, they are less likely to panic and damage machine components, other products, or themselves. This section of the belt is sheathed in rubber and kept well lit to maintain good spirits, and we have actually found the intelligent placement of gramophones and simple acoustic amplification tubes around the line means we can use music to further soothe the product. We find Debussy, or Debussy, however you pronounce that, particularly effective in this regard. Probably Debussy or something like that. Debussy, yeah, probably not, but yeah, I'm not exactly the queen of pronunciation. Oh, 
Oh, hello. Oh, dead pigs, I think. Yep, dead pigs. Lots of them. Fan Debbie Dozy. Fan epic, epic amounts of blood. Just what I always wanted. Fueling pumps, volatile chemicals are unused as materials are highly corrosive. Wear protection. It appears to be some kind of fueling station. I've seen automobiles demonstrated at Mr. Yarum and Mr. Simmons' works, but the smell here is all wrong. This is not petroleum. Of that I am sure. Everything suggests to me that the machine must be significant in some way. Okay, if you say so. Yummy, yummy pigs. I do love me some bacon, but not bacon that's been sitting there rotting for like what looks like a good couple of weeks. No, no, no. Okay, that's locked. Ah, here we go. More dead pigs, yay! I said, ch there we go. <laughs> Oh, hello. Can I touch it? Yeah, I can. I'm guessing this is where I'm supposed to go. Hmm, okay, but before I do that, however, I want to... Oh, yeah, don't want to miss anything. Imagine, they say, a machine one day that might think like a man. As if this is to be desired. One might almost boast of creating a man who breeds like a pig. Men and women upon all fours, rutting carelessly, ejaculating their filthy misses into the streets. Alleys and gutters running freely with the careless spill of their conjoinings. The air thick with the whimperings of lust. Bodies streaked with their own emissions. We have created a world where man is so utterly debased he will spray his seed over passers-by. And yet, this is the condition Babbage aspired to. No, this is not the machine we seek. Such an entity should be nothing less than a deity, and we would fall upon our knees and worship it. We shall not carve gods to bicker and fornicate. They will exist to clean the world and set us free. I reject Babbage as I reject these men of government. Let the pigs copulate in the gutters whilst they can. We shall scoop them up and ease their ascension soon enough. Okay, that's a little bit screwed up there, dude. Just saying. Okay. Uh, hoppity hop. Oh, yay, outside. Woo. It's very, very dark, and for some reason I'm crouching. Can I jump up here? No. Strangers not allowed on these works. Inquiries can be made at the lodge. Hmm. Okay. I don't like how you actually get sense of the world in this game, how you know you sometimes go outside and just see ordinary things like these signs on the walls and stuff like that. It just gives you a sense of this the world actually being a thing rather than just being trapped in this uh, house or whatever. Hello? I've got a note first. This church, this church is connected to the plant. How odd. However, it does suggest another route into the main part of the facility, given the locked doors around the fueling station. This truck blocks my way, however, almost as if the saboteur knew that I might consider this alternative entrance. Oh, that, that sneaky, sneaky saboteur. Let's read this. How many blazes are we supposed to meet these damn schedules if even the basic equipment we are provided will, will simply will not perform its designated function? His cursed newfangled trucks will only have run a fraction of the distance my old mag nag managed before running out of stinking gasoline. The gaffer says it's fine, and there's plenty of pumps to refill them outside the factory walls, but you end up dragging a blessed tank from the truck to the nearest one to refill it, and one in the storeroom is empty again. I can't pretend that crank hands on all day, only to find the tank is empty. Well, sod it, says I. Enough for a night, and to my bed I go. It's not like anyone needs access to these bleeding, bleeding graveyard anyway. Harry, if you get this, I'll meet you in the Damson Templar for a jar. I see, so... I'm going to need to find some way to refuel so I can get into here. Come on, Papa. Let's climb this one. I can see more pictures at the top. Uh, okay. In just a moment, creepy child. Just a moment. Hello?
Hello? Hello? Oh! Hello? Something about emergency shutdown just flashed up then. Ah, here we are. The canister looks like it may fit the fuel pump I saw earlier. It certainly carries the same fetid, unholy reek. I will not think of what I saw past me and its cage. I will not gaze again into that dark machine room. A more immediate task presents itself, and the opportunity perhaps to gain some access to St Dunstan's. Well, I think that's a good place to call this particular part of Amnesia a machine for pigs. I really hope you guys are enjoying this. I sure am. And I'll see you in the next part.